hi guys this is Cindy here I'll make sure that I look good I don't know okay so let's do this so I just wanted to come on here and check in with you guys I'm trying my best to come back on YouTube well actually I'm coming back on YouTube in full time this time I am just sick and tired I just need to get on and stop I need to start taking a break but I've been struggling a lot with my career and I spoke to one of my friends about it you know um, I feel I'm in a place where I feel stuck um, I want to start over but I also want to continue but I also want to take a different route with the cooking stuff because that's really my passion but it just you know it just we're still living in this world where you know uh, I don't know I I just feel stuck like I'm doing my master's program and I'm wondering whether it's worth it if you know once I finish if I'm going to find a job and if the job is gonna be well paid and if I'm gonna like the job to actually stay there and work you know um, so that's what I'm like going through right now so now I was thinking to my friend and I told my friend you know my thing is I really want to work on my cooking career that's what I really want that's what in me that's why I feel like God has put in me and I've been praying about it I've been asking God for you know guidance and help because that's really what I want I, I seem I'm happy doing it you know I'm happy doing it I love it and I've been doing it for so long and I haven't really been making money from doing it but I still keep going that's because I love it so much so imagine when I actually do stop making money like real money <laughs> I'm gonna change I'm just kidding I am gonna change I'm not obviously okay why would I make so much money right why would I stop making money and I still seem the same person I'm gonna be more giving I'm gonna be fabulous you know i'm gonna eat more i'm gonna eat better i'm gonna be better so yeah but yeah so i've been you know i've been checking in uh i've been talking to my friend about it and i'm ready and i really want to do it full time and i need you guys to hold me accountable i'm from now on i'm hoping well not hoping i'm my goal is to post at least once a week but the ultimate goal is to post three to four times a week which that's gonna take time that's gonna come over time but for now I'm gonna start with one twice a week and um, I'm gonna share my experience with you guys moving I'm moving to Dallas in a month I'm gonna share that experience with you guys to keep with me I'm really excited you know and I thought I'd share this journey with you guys and I'm sure there are some people that are my age that are feeling also stuck and I you know and I think it's because at this age you know I'm 29 and this is the age People actually are married, having kids, and I'm just here, like, you know, <laughs> moving to a different state, which is, which is good, it's good, it's good. It's not how I envision my life, but it's happening, and I'm taking it. Um, yeah, so, so, yeah, I'm going to take you on that journey with me. Um, yeah, I'm excited to move to Dallas and live my life and, you know, work on my cookbook work on my cooking career and really take things serious because I have been sleeping on myself for way too long and I'm not gonna let my dream and passion go to waste I'm gonna actually put the work into it and meet those goals so stay tuned you'll be seeing me a lot more you'll be seeing my face because I want to take my channel to a, to a different you know not too different but I don't want to just stick with cooking because I there's a lot more of me that I want to share you know like I want to share you know I want to do little vlogs like you know when I travel I like to travel I love history so I want to do that share that experience with you guys when I move how my experience is the things that I'm doing so in case someone else one of you I don't know who's gonna be watching me someone from around the world probably want to move to Dallas too or wants to move and they are afraid maybe they could watch my my story and that would probably help them all right so yeah stay tuned and be sure to like comment and subscribe because you're gonna be seeing me a lot more and yeah i'm here because i'm going on i'm going on i'm going to lunch with a friend or friend um a high school friend that we haven't seen each other since way before i moved to maryland actually we haven't seen each other in like years it's gonna be the first time in a long time so i'm excited I can't wait. This see this is the things I'm I'm excited. This is why I'm excited for Dallas because just I just feel like I'm starting over. I'm gonna put myself out there because I'm a shy person, very shy person. I don't like, I don't know. I'm just not so. I'm not an extrovert. I am not. I try to be, but I'm not. But I'm. But being shy don't pay bills. Being an ex, uh, an introvert doesn't really. Is you you can't network if you are you know. And I want to network and I want to make new people and I, because I can't you know if i if had i put myself out there before i would probably be where i want to be in my career but because i keep myself hidden and i can't do everything by myself i don't know everything i need to be connecting to people that's been in my shoes that also you know that's in the cooking industry 
in the food industry that could help me but before this camera stopped recording I was saying because I stay inside I never get to meet people so that's why I'm like feeling stuck right now but I've been making friends and you know in the same space um, the you know social media space in the food space so they've been helping me and I'm excited to continue to do that and really focus and work on my career so yeah I can't wait to share with you guys you know can't wait